Hello you guys, I'm Ali here. Today I will be showing you how to prove that a non-empty set T1 is finite if and only if there is a bijection from the set T1 onto a finite set T2. The problem is asking us to prove something using the phrase if and only if, so we have to use a method of double inclusion which means that we are going to prove that if the hypothesis is true, then the conclusion is true. And conversely, if the conclusion is true, then the hypothesis must also be true. So the first thing I'm going to do is prove that if T sub 1 is not an empty set, then there exists a bijection from the set T sub 1 onto a finite set T sub 2. So I think that one of the most useful things you can do is be very comfortable with the idea of bijections before you try to do this problem. But basically the idea of, of a bijection is that the set has to be onto and it also has to have a one-to-one -one relationship. So I drew three pictures that represent the sets T sub 1, the set of the natural numbers up to the number M, and another set T sub 2. And this is how I'm going to do the following first half of the proof. Suppose that the hypothesis is true, so T sub 1 is finite. Then by definition, T sub 1 has m elements for some m elements of the natural numbers. Further, there exists a bijection from the natural numbers onto m onto the set T sub 1. Let f be a function that describes this bijection from the set of natural numbers sub m onto the set t sub 1. However, f is a bijection, so we know that f inverse exists, and that is a theorem that you should be able to find in your book. Hence, we can define g as equal to f inverse that goes from the set t sub 1 onto the set of the natural numbers sub m, where g is also a bijection. Further, we can define T sub 2 as a set of the same cardinality as T sub 1. So T sub 2 is equal to T sub m. Therefore, G is equal to F inverse that goes from T sub 1 to T sub 2. And as you can see, all I did is replace this N sub m for T sub 2. And we have proven that there exists a bijection from t sub 1 onto a finite set t sub 2. So using the method of double inclusion, now I'm going to prove that if the conclusion is true, then the hypothesis also has to be true. And this is how I proved it. Conversely, suppose there is a bijection from t sub 1 onto a finite set t sub 2. We can define this bijection as a function h that goes from the set t sub 1 to t sub 2. However, h is a bijection. So the inverse h inverse that goes from t sub 2 to t sub 1 has to exist. Thus, t sub 1 and t sub 2 must have the same cardinality. And cardinality just means the amount of elements that are in the set. That is, t sub 1 and t sub 2 have the same amount of elements in them. T sub 2 is, a f is finite, so by definition, T sub 2 has k elements for some k elements of the natural numbers. Therefore, T sub 1 also has k elements for some k elements of the natural numbers. And thus, T sub 1 is a finite set by definition. Thank you for watching this video, and please feel free to put any questions in the comment section.